Uh, every nation has a responsibility and every nation is at risk. That is what President Joe Biden said today as he launched a global climate summit and Pope Francis even took part. We spoke with one expert on how Catholics can think critically about it. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, good evening. President Joe Biden also said today that by 2030, just nine years from now, he wants to cut greenhouse gas emissions here in the U.S. by half. He says the cost of inaction keeps mounting, but for some, it's not that cut and dry. You know, this moment demands urgency. President Joe Biden says the nations of the world can't go it alone battling climate change and need to step up. He wants to build and deploy clean technology and promises jobs. Within our climate response lies an extraordinary engine of job creation and economic opportunity ready to be fired up. That's why I've proposed a huge investment in American infrastructure and American innovation. Pope Francis welcomed the meeting, calling it a wonderful idea and wishing them great success, saying nature is a gift we have received that must be cared for into the future. We need to ensure that the environment is cleaner, more pure. It needs to be preserved. We must care for nature so that nature may care for us. But not everyone agrees on all the solutions being offered. In my view, uh, the Paris Accords would make very little difference and it would cost trillions of dollars. And when the Pope weighs in, it can cause some confusion among the faithful. As the Pope, we want to take him seriously on any of those views, but at the same time, he tells us uh, that he's not trying to prescribe policy views or scientific questions or settle scientific questions for Catholics. So obviously, faithful Catholics can have different opinions about the details of climate change without disagreeing with the Pope on any fundamental issue. Also attending the summit, Russian President Vladimir Putin, who called on countries to join together in the climate change battle. And China, the planet's biggest emissions emitter, called on developed countries to act. Developed countries need to increase climate ambition and action and make concrete efforts to help developing countries accelerate the transition to green and low carbon development. And on this World Earth Day, the Pope also said, quote, both global catastrophes, COVID and the climate show that we don't have time to waste. And tomorrow is day two of the climate summit. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.